Oh, hello, Mr. Parker. Why are you sitting in that box? Are you going somewhere, Parker? Are you? Because that looks like that's a small box. No, he's not going anywhere. He's just sitting in there. I use this box for a video on TikTok. So I was having some fun and we needed a box. But yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, my TikTok name is the same as my YouTube name. Okay, so we're going to change Parker. Oh my gosh, it's almost Halloween time. Are you guys ready? Um, those, I mean, who celebrates Halloween? Um, there was a time when my mom didn't do Halloween for, I don't know, a year or two or something. But I need to get candy for the kids. I'm not, we're not doing anything. I don't have any plans to dress up or anything like that. Um, I really haven't given it much thought. I did do like small decoration in the front, my little skeleton in the lawn. I do have two pumpkins. Um, we got with the intentions of carving, but uh, we haven't done that yet. Might be good to do that uh, maybe later in this video. Who knows? We're just getting started. Never know what's going to happen. Hmm. We should do that. It is um, almost Halloween. It's super close. So it wouldn't be too early to carve the pumpkins. So we have this sleeper. Uh, it was available on the website, but I took it down. I think it's a vintage Halloween sleeper. So I'm um, going to put it on Parker. I thought it would fit... Like, I thought it was a zero to three month size, but it's three to six month size. So, I was going to put it on Frankie, but I realized it's three to six month size. And I was like, hmm, well, let's see if it fits this guy's big old booty. And then he'll just wear this through Halloween. And, oh, yeah, it's perfect. Dang. All right. Sometimes three to six months, I feel like, looks small, but... It's not small. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be so cute. Oh, we're gonna have to do po uh, photos in this tomorrow. This is adorable. I'm so glad I decided to um, get this off the website and put it on one of the babies. Oh my goodness. How cute. Parker, it looks really nice on you. Oh, that's cute. And then it's got a little hood. It's just a little orange hood. It's like nothing special. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, I really like that on him. Oh, you are looking so handsome. Wow, you look really nice and orange, mister. Yes, you do. Oh my goodness. Wow. And so when I say tomorrow fo <laughs> of photos, it's because it's um almost 10 p.m. on Friday night. So I wanted to get started on my video because I really wanted to change Parker. Let's see if I can pick him up one-handed. He's so freaking heavy. I wanted to change him and I thought that we should do it together. Oh my gosh, this fits him so nice. Wow, this is awesome. You look so cute. I love this color on you. Little pumpkin there. It's got little, um, like little yellow pupils. It's cute. It's like a felt right there. And then it says Happy Halloween embroidered and some little candy corns. Super cute. Anybody have this in any of their baby photos? Or does anybody know what year it's from? Like you saw your sibling or your cousin or something wearing it? Comment. Let me know. Well, happy Saturday, guys. It's officially Saturday when you see this video. Look at We're at the dollar store. Oh, my God. Look at the signs. Look. Oh, they're kind of, oh my gosh, they're perfect for the front room. Oh my gosh, they have so much. I was not expecting all this. I'm so excited. It's like perfect timing. Oh my God, we get I to know, redo the wall. <gasps> gotta get them out of here. Yeah, you gotta get them out of here. Oh my gosh. They won't be. 
We're back from the store now, and um, I'm going to be making us some chocolate gravy to go with our biscuits for lunch. Now, some of you might be like, oh gosh, no, that's sweet. I'm sure a lot of you have had it because it's a southern thing. Um, my grandmother made it. I usually use her recipe, but I cannot find it offhand. However, it is pretty much the same recipe as this one. After looking at the ingredients, I'm like, grandma hasn't done anything differently. So I'm going to be practicing today because this is one of those like you can easily screw it up. However, I can't say I have messed up this gravy. My mom loves it when I make this gravy because I am one person that dials it in. And that's because I spent a lot of time with my dad's mother who made this for us anytime I requested it, which was almost every time I visited my grandmother, I asked for chocolate gravy. So our friend Rebecca, Never got the chance to have it. Her grandmother passed away before she was born or of age to have chocolate gravy. You know, she might have been a young baby, not sure how that went, but she passed away before she was able to even have her grandmother's chocolate gravy. Everybody else has had it, not her. And I said, ha ha, I make it. So the next time she comes and visits, we're gonna make her some chocolate gravy and biscuits. And so today I'm doing some practicing. So here's some of the things that you need for your gravy. And you use unsweetened cocoa, co uh, you know, chocolate. You're gonna add in your sweetening yourself with sugar and vanilla. So, and this is really like, it's not that sweet. And this to me is like the only thing you kind of have. And with this meal, some eggs is good with it, but really the chocolate with the biscuits, in my opinion, is so filling that growing up, we really just had chocolate and Chocolate biscuit, chocolate gravy with the biscuits. Um, Grandma sometimes made eggs to go with it, but she really just made this because it's so heavy, uh, rich, not like rich in sweetness, but it's just so rich and filling. Well, my grandma made biscuits from hand, uh, scratch, although she tried to get lazy with me when I was a young adult and I about had a fit. I was like, I don't think so. You better get that biscuit out and make my biscuits if you want to do it from flour. I was one of those grandkids. Um, I was the first girl years into the family. I was very spoiled. Long time before they had had a girl in the family, I was very spoiled. My grandma only had boys, so that's it. My grandma only had boys. She had four boys. So uh, my grand. So when I say like 20 years, I think my uncle was in his 20s when. I think it was like 20 when I was born. I don't know, 18 when I was born. So they had no girls. She only ever had boys. So I was spoiled. So everything was my way when it came to grandma. That was it. <laughs> Me and my cousin Mark, we were the most spoiled grandkids. And there's like 15 of us. Um, there's a lot of us. And so, yeah, so she would make them from scratch. I don't do from scratch. I do right out of the can. They're, you know, they're really good actually. Kind of give grandma a run for her money. But if grandma was here, I'd be making her... I'd be having her make the actual meal for me. It'd be right here on uh, YouTube and she'd be cooking it up, not me. But grandma's not here, so we're going with the can. There it is. I like my biscuits broken up. Um, you can see a video on TikTok where the biscuits were kept in whole and the gravy was added for Parker. But they came out so good. So excited. This is one of my favorite childhood Memories that I can bring back. Here we go. It's been too long. Oh my goodness, so good. What's going on? So Jackie and I have been running errands today. Um, whew, done a lot today. We had a lot of things we need to get done. And I'm so excited. But the little Sunny Delight baby sold. Yay, congrats, Tiffany. Thank you so much. So tomorrow's video will be getting ready preemie baby sunny delight to travel on monday to her new mommy i'm so excited she's such a cute baby thank you again for adopting her and enjoying my work because this is now i think your second baby from me so we went to the thrift stores no we went to two um the hole in the wall one i like to go to where i found heather and then we went to the goodwill which is right next one of the Goodwills next to it. So I went there. But look, we got a trash can for the nursery area. Totally like perfect combo. It was $2, really cute. Looks like it's, it looks hand painted. 
It really does. So it looks like somebody did that. So I'm really excited. So um, the baby's hanging out the bag. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about this baby right here because I had one or two of these dolls when I was a kid and I've been looking on eBay for years now to get one of these dolls. I would have especially liked to get this baby in particular um, just because it's like holiday theme, but it's very expensive on eBay. So without further ado, let me show you my $3 doll that's like in brand new condition other than I need to work with its hair, but its body is in, it's amazing. Here it is. Oh my gosh. So it's a Magic Nurseries baby the holiday theme it's from 1989 check it out like the body is immaculate like there is no stain so her hair just needs to be fixed so she was three dollars i am so excited for years i keep putting like there's always this one on ebay for sale and i would put it in my cart like on my watch list and just leave it there it's too expensive to buy it's brand new so, um, so excited about this find. Um, did any of you have her as a, did you guys have her? She's really cute. Or I never had this one, but I did have other ones. I really liked them. So basically like, I feel like I've been manifesting things that I want. So I only go to places where in my heart, I feel like I need to go. So I'm just like, I get up and I'm like, Today, I need to go get a bra. I want to go to this place where we go. It's usually very expensive. I don't like to buy there because it's expensive, but I was like, I need to go get a bra. It's finally, I just want to go get a bra. <laughs> so, but I was like, on the way there, I want to stop at this thrift store, then the Goodwill, <laughs> and found things at each place that were incredible. So it was this. So if you guys feel like your gut is calling, telling you to go somewhere, go there. You're gonna, <laughs> something is gonna be there that you've been wanting. Trust me, every time I feel like I need to go somewhere, I pay attention to my gut, if it's like my heart or whatever, your intuition, if I really need to go there, and if I really need to go there, there's always a dynamite prize there waiting for me. So we'll put that baby right there. So like I said, I did go to Torrid <clears throat> to get bras, right? <sighs> what a nightmare, um, bra shopping. So like I've lost weight, um, but I don't feel like my boobs have really gotten smaller. Okay, and that's, no, it's not TMI. We're all women here. Um, I mean, there could be some men here too. You guys are welcome here. But we're all adults. This should be for adults, it's not a kids channel. So yeah, I went bra shopping and these bras are normally full price. So I say I do everything with reason. I never not do it without a reason, right? So the bra, the bras are $52.50 full price. Expensive. But if you wear Torrid, you know that it's well worth it. Jackie wears them. I um, I just was like, it's too expensive. I'll just wear sports bras for now. And then I lost weight, and so like I'm like, I'm ready for a bra. Well, like I said, I do things with reason. Today was the day that I was like, okay, you need to go to Torrid. You need to get a bra. Well, why? Well, guess what? The whole freaking store is 50% off. Ah, 50% off. Jackie's like, you're serious. You're like, you only go to places where you t your, your intuition or your gut's telling you to go, and you find stuff. It's like, it's meant for you. And I'm like, this is how I've been doing things. Manifestation. Working well. So I got two new bras for the present one. What? This nice leopard print one. Oh, goodness. I can't believe you're doing this. Right? <laughs> this is my haul. I mean, we're all adults here, right? We're all adults. <sighs> and kids, mm -hmm. one day you're going to be here too. You know, teenagers. So... <laughs> new bras. This is too funny. New bras. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, you know, I show you guys the haul for the babies all the time. Might as well show you what the adults get too, right? We did get some razors today. <laughs> but I didn't realize tomorrow is Halloween. I was like, Jackie, you know, we gotta get candy. I was like, when's Halloween? She's like, it's tomorrow. It's like, okay. <laughs> Picked up no, some it candy. Wasn't okay. You were panicking. I was panicking because I was like, <laughs> What? Grab some candy. First bag, Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna like, I don't know. I might make some sandwich bag things together just to hand it out. Next bag, Snickers minis. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make like little mini fun bags out of sandwich bags to hand out. 
then the last bag for right now. If I sell another doll before tomorrow, I'm gonna buy a bunch of big candy bars. I had to, you know, sold a doll today, but I had some responsible stuff I had to do with it, so candy was last. But if we make another large sell, I'm gonna go get some big candy bars. But for now, we're making fun bags with these candies. So I got this mix, like Mega Brand. This is actually pretty cool. It's like lemon head, warheads, um, Laffy Taffy, Smarties, um, a bunch of different stuff. Dum Dums, Bubble Bubble. Yeah, so there we go. So I'm gonna put together little bags, uh, little sandwich bags that I have. Probably make like, I don't know, I'm gonna make them decent size. We didn't get a lot of kids last year. I expect to get more, but still not a ton. We just don't really get a ton. My neighborhood's not so inviting, I guess. <laughs> but at the Goodwill, found this sleeper for Parker. So cute, it's little me. Uh, it's, he is the top of the Christmas tree when he wears it. How cute is that? He's a Christmas topper. He's a Christmas topper. So adorable. <laughs> then at Walmart, found this sleeper in zero to three months and I said, F it, I'm gonna shrink it for the newborns. So we're gonna wash it in hot water and dry it on super, super hot. And hopefully it shrinks just like a spinach, like a little bit. Clothes used to shrink a lot um, back when I had tambourine as a baby. So they just don't shrink as much as they used to, which is what sucks. But anyways, well, that's that was my day today. It's been very, very busy. I made the biscuits and gravy, the chocolate biscuits and gravy uh, was so good. You can see a video on TikTok with Parker. It's super cute. But yeah, all right guys, well, we'll be back tomorrow with a box packing and who knows what else. We're gonna be changing babies. I need to change my kids. I need to be more on top of this. All right, remember to stay safe, stay positive. Tambry, my love, I love you so much. I wish you would just message me. We just, all we need to do is just talk, honey. That's it, we don't even have to talk about what happened. You can just message me and say, hey mom. And I can say, hey daughter, real simple. But I love you, honey. Jackie and I love you with all of our heart, soul. We miss you all the time, but we're we're making it. We're trying to survive. Anyways, all right, guys. Love you all so much as well. Stay safe. Stay positive. Don't give in to the negativity, and we'll be back soon. Bye.